Quick Analysis in Dashboards 2.0 lets you add components to dashboards without having a pre-built form. You create a table view query by typing member names or using the member selector and control the layout of the query in the Layout pane of the Properties panel. Dashboards 2.0 gives you two ways to start a query. In the blank dashboard canvas, click in the search bar to display a list of cubes, then select the cube you want to query. You can also drag and drop a specific cube from the palette to add a quick analysis component to the canvas, then click in the search bar to return a query. With either method, the system starts with a default query, a single intersection in the cube driven from your most recently used, or MRU. That means the default query varies based on what you've recently been looking at in the cube. You can define your query by typing into the search bar to display an autocomplete list from the cube. You can also use the member selector to add members to the query. I'll select total department for the entity dimension and total product for the product dimension. Now I'm starting to see data in the table. I'll add a few more accounts to the search bar. Once you have a working query, you can leave the data in table format or select a different visualization. Let's make this a bar chart. On the Chart Properties tab, you can see the data source type listed as cube for a quick analysis and the name of the source cube. Quick Analyses also have a Layout tab where you can drag and drop dimensions to change the dimension layout. The order of dimensions in the y-axis of a bar chart controls how hierarchical labeling is displayed. And adding a second dimension to the rows increases the series included in each group. The Layout panel makes it easy for you to display the data the way you want. The Bar Properties tab has the same options regardless of the data source. You can change the scaling, orientation, legend, and data label position. and show or hide grid lines. Since this example contains ratios and dollars of widely varying amounts, enabling a logarithmic scale will help make sure all the data is displayed in the chart. Now bars for both ratios are visible. You can also plot one of the series values on a second y-axis. I'll plot quick ratio on a dual y-axis and create a custom range for the axis. Now the trend for quick ratio is easy to compare to total assets and total revenue, even though the values are vastly different. You can combine quick analysis components and form-based components in the same dashboard for maximum flexibility. To learn more, visit docs.oracle.com.